happy Monday morning, my friends. Um, I saw some of the pictures of the flowers and the vases and the cards that you guys made for your moms for Mother's Day, and they were beautiful. And I bet your moms just loved getting something homemade from you guys. Um, how was your Mother's Day? Did you guys take extra special care of mom uh, yesterday? And did you, did anybody make breakfast in bed or help clean the house? That would have been very helpful. <laughs> um, I hope you guys had a good weekend. It was kind of a gloomy weekend. We usually like to go outside a lot on the weekend, but we did it this weekend a ton. So hopefully this week it warms up a little bit so we can get outside and we can do some more playing. Okay, our plan for the week. Today we are going to do our last letters in the hidden alphabet. And I am going to send the story box activity again on Seesaw because that was really, really popular with you guys. Everybody had written back saying how much they liked that one and circling the answer of the of what starts with that sound. Um, and then tomorrow we are going to do an art activity with our book Scribble. Do you guys remember when we read the book Scribble about how there's like a circle and a square and then the scribble comes in and he's all kind of wild? So we're going to do something fun with that. And then we are going to do on Wednesday, um, I'm going to show you a new math game that you guys can make and play at home. And on Thursday, there is going to be a new challenge from Miss Lee, Miss Karen, and Miss Jill. And then Friday, we don't have school this week because it is a PD day, and that means that I get to take some classes, just like you guys, on the computer uh, to learn some new stuff. So today, our last alphabet letters that we need, we are going to start with the letter B. B. Do you know what it is? It is a B for balloons. There they are. <laughs> okay. The next letter only makes one sound and it says J, J, J. J, J, J. So it can't be G because that also says G. What just says J? It's a J, and this one is for jigsaw puzzle. See the puzzle piece? Okay, here it comes. Okay, the next letter makes the sound zzzz. Whew, that's a long one. Zipper. Z. And the next one that we have to do makes this sound here. Wa, wa, wa. And I'll give you a hint. It's not Y. I know we all think Y should say wa, wa, Y, but it does not. So what one says wa, wa, wa? W. And in this one, W is for wave. I really like this one, how they made the wave in the middle. Okay, the next one that we need is this one. And I'll give you a hint, you made one of these for Mother's Day. A V for vase. Ready? There it is. Okay, we have three left to do, and these three are not very popular letters. We don't use them all the time, but we still have to learn them, and we still have to know what sounds they make. So the first of these last letters says this, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Y. <laughs> and this one is for yoke. This page had a lot of rips on it. <laughs> there it is. See how it made it in? It looks like an egg with its yolk. And then there it is. Okay, how about this funny one? Uh, when we did this one in class, we found out that not a lot of words start with this letter, but a lot of words have this letter in it or at the end of it. So this one says <laughs> Now, I'll show you the picture in here, but the picture in here, it actually says which isn't usually what this one says. 
So this one says X is for xylophone. But remember when we found the X, X, X we said it's like for X-ray, or we found the word exit all over our school. Do you remember we went on a hunt in the hallway? Um, and we found it at the end of a bunch of words like box and fox and ox. <laughs> Okay, our last one that we have to do today says hua, hua, hua. It's a Q. And then here, they use a really big kid word for this, but they say it is for quotation mark. <laughs> it's like a little baby one inside like the big one. <laughs> okay, so those are all of our letters now from the hidden alphabet. Um, so I'm going to send you that activity on Seesaw with the beginning sounds, and then we get to go on to now like making some words after this. So I'm really excited to see what we can learn how to spell. Okay, I will talk to you guys again tomorrow, and I will have our book scribble, so be ready to do some artwork with me. Bye, guys.